What role can the media play for environmental education? Well, I think media is very much at the center of this whole whole thing because I think it it drives process, it drives what people are interested in. Sometimes they read a story in the media and that doesn't tell them enough they want to know more. They might go to the media's website sometimes. They might come to an institution like us. The media comes to us also to help do joint activities with them. So I think there is a responsible media now and the media wants to deal with stories. Uh, for instance, we did a major public consultation on whether BT eggplant should be introduced in India or not. And over 40 days, eggplant is not a star, if you like. You know, it's not a main thing. But throughout those 40 days, I think in every day, in whichever paper, we were on the front page. And that awareness is now uh, so wide as a result of that. Uh, uh, and there are a number of environmental issues which have come. So I think the media has played a very, very critical part. Uh, India media is free uh, and, and quite responsible, but at the same time, sometimes it gets manipulated by industry as well. So you'll find one paper or something just giving one side of the story, and then one has to fight that. I mean, that's true of any, anything. In the forum this morning, you talked about the handprint campaign. Yes, Could yes. you tell us something about that? Yes, you know, um, um, many of your listeners probably are, are familiar with the footprint. And the footprint basically measures in hectares uh, how much we consume. And the average footprint of North American is something like eight. In Europe, it's more like five and a half or six. But what the globe can afford is a little below two. Now. With a large population like India and China, uh, if Asia becomes the same path as, say, North America, it will be an absolute disaster. I mean, already we are consuming, I think, uh, one and a half globes. Uh, by 2050, we'll be doing two and a half globes if we don't change something. Now, this is, there is no such planet left. So we have to do something about the footprint. But it looks very negative sometimes, you know? What do you do, what do you do? So a little girl, uh, called Shrija in Hyderabad in one of our projects, she came and stamped her hand and said, how about doing something positive? This is my handprint. You know, it sounded this. But then it was such a powerful idea. So we took it to a conference, and now someone in Germany was trying to do it, someone in uh, Canada, someone in Australia, uh, in places. They're, they're talking the handprint as what is the action we can do to change the world. So Thank it's a positive message.